every new concept and prototype brings something new, and this might be a new design language or a new technology. But concepts that bring a completely new way of thinking are very rare. And BMW Gina is one of these concepts. I remember seeing this car back in the day and I was just wow was just something from another world or from a movie. Gina didn't brought something really useful, at least for now, but brought something cool and new. So hello guys and welcome back to another video and here is BMW Gina, the flexible car. Thanks to its division concept, BMW GmbH, BMW has brought some really cool concepts, like Z11, an electric car with a range of 200 km, the MAD Z13, a rear engine, hot hatch with a central driving position, or the ultra lightweight Z22. But differently from these concepts, Gina begin as a simple idea from another division of BMW. This is Design Works. Differently from BMW Technic, Design works is mostly focused on new design solution, styles, technologies, etc. But this division of BMW didn't design cars back in the day. The story of Gina began in the early 2000s, when Chris Bengel, the BMW designer of the time, asked design works team how they will design a car. And one of the designers came up with idea of a skin that would cover the frame of the car. Well, the story behind Gina is kind of interesting because it started with a question I asked the non-car designers at DesignWorks. DesignWorks is our daughter company, which then was only in California, now they're worldwide. And uh, they, they do work for lots of people, do things like computers and boats and trains, lots of things. And I asked the, the people who were not the car guys, um, what would you do with a car? And one of the people came up with the idea, well, you know what, I would take a flexible skin and I would move it over a frame and I think that's really kind of sexy and cool and it gives a different emotional attitude. And to first see the idea of flexibility being handled not purely because it's a function, which in the past it had been. It's not the newest idea. There have been cloth cars around since uh, the time cars were born. But the idea that through this there's a new kind of emotion being born, and then suddenly we can link that with the whole idea of how do we move away from uh, rapid, uh, into rapid prototyping, from rapid prototyping to rapid manufacturing. This started a whole chain of ideas within the company here that Gina became not just a model that became a shape or just about cloth as a skin, it became about a real a thinking process, a philosophy that said, let's do things differently. Let's let materials talk in a different manner. And let's let tooling be a different issue instead of just the way to give us form. The chassis and the structure of the car are very strong nowadays. So they can handle the crash without the body panels. The, so for most part these panels are there for style, aerodynamics, or for the pedestrian safety. But what if you had the possibility to change the look with a press of a button? This being for style or better aerodynamics. Or if you made a car that is much, much safer to pedestrian with using much better materials. The design team originally started building the frame of the car since the look mostly depended on the frame, because the skin would basically wrap around this frame. So the designers didn't have the true idea in mind. The skin of the car was made out of a special material developed by BMW. This was a fabric, mostly made out of polyethylen and spandex. According to BMW, this material could resist different temperatures, also, the movements that happened after this skin could not damage it. The skeleton underneath the skin moved consistently, depending on the condition and the speed. But probably the coolest party tricks was the fact that the skin was also that also covered the headlights, the rear lights and the door hinges. The headlights were covered when they weren't in use, but they were revealed in a very cool way, since they looked like eyes while the tail lights stayed under the skin all the time. Also, an electronic rear wing was under the skin, but the butterfly doors and the hood were the, be were the best part. The butterfly doors, where they were opened, 
created an amazing look, while the bonnet revealed the engine in a very unique way. But this style continued also inside the car, which like the exterior had a very minimalistic look. And like the exterior with had the similar moving parts. BMW used the chassis of a Z8 platform for this car, so the engine was the same 4.4 liter V8 and a 6 speed automatic gearbox as on the Z8, which meant at the same time the car was fully functional. BMW presented the car in 2008 under the name Gina, which stood for geometry and function in N adaptions. The Gina was of course built with no idea of production, even though BMW stated that the car was built in to comply with all the regulations, even though apparently La doesn't allow car manufacturers to use fabric as a skin for their car. But who knows, we might see something similar going into production in the future, and would be very interesting if more car manufacturers or designers because we can see really cool things. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.